Am I the asshole for deleting my friend's wedding photos in front of them? I'm not really a photographer, I'm a dog groomer. I take lots of photos of dogs all day to put on my Facebook and Instagram. It's my thing that makes sense. A cut in a photo with every appointment. I very seldom shoot things other than dogs, even if I have a nice setup. A friend got married a few days ago and wanted to save money, asked if I shoot it for them. I told him it's not really my forte, but he convinced me by saying he didn't care if they were perfect. They were on a shoestring budget, and I agreed to shoot it for $250, which is nothing for a 10-hour event. On the day of, I'm driving around following the bride as she goes from the to the appointment before the ceremony, taking photos along the way. I shoot the ceremony itself, and during the reception, I'm shooting speeches and people mingling. I started around 11 a.m. and was due to finish around 7.30 p.m. Around 5 p.m., food is being served, and I was told I cannot stop to eat because I need to be a photographer. In fact, they didn't save me a spot at any table. I'm getting tired and at this point kind of regretting doing this for next to nothing. It's also unbelievably hot. The venue is at an old Veterans Legion and it's like 110 degrees and there's no AC. I told the groom I need to take off for 20 minutes to get something to eat and drink. There's no open bar or anything. I can't even get water and my two water bottles are long empty. He tells me I need to either be a photographer or leave without pay. With the heat, being hungry, being generally annoyed at the circumstances, I asked if he was sure, and he said yes. So I deleted all the photos I took in front of him and took off saying, I'm not his photographer anymore. If I was to be paid $250, honestly at that point, I would have paid $250 for just a glass of cold water and somewhere to sit for five minutes. Was I the asshole? They went right on their honeymoon and they've been all off social media, but a lot of people have been posting on their wall asking about the photos with zero responses. Am I the asshole for firing an employee after his parents died? I'm the VP of sales at a software company, and one of our sales development reps' parents passed away at the beginning of April. Sadly, they were involved in a car crash and both lost their lives. Now the employee in question is a very young 22-year-old guy and has been with us for about 10 months now. He's a great employee, and we were thinking about promotions in the next six months for him. His job is a high-paying one for a new grad, around 90000 with commission and base, so we expect a lot from this position. Because of the accident, we let him take one month paid leave of absence from work, and he's returned a few weeks ago, and his performance is severely lacking. He's super unmotivated, not cold calling, out reaching out to prospects for the last two to three weeks enough since he's come back. Our whole management team has noticed this, and we decided to let him go because we feel like he'd need months and months to be able to produce again, and we can't just wait that long. We called him into a meeting on Friday afternoon and gave him the bad news. He was very calm and rude about it, told us to go fuck ourselves, and got up and went to his desk, grabbed his few things, and left. I thought this was very, very unprofessional and extremely rude. I told my boyfriend about all of this, and he said myself and my management team are a bunch of asses and pricks with no hearts. Am I the asshole for not saying anything about the underwear? My 20-year-old daughter and her fiancé are currently staying with us. I love my daughter, but she is very difficult, and I can't stand her fiancé. I gave them a deadline to move out because I can't take this in. They got into a massive fight the other day while my wife was out. I guess a pair of my wife's underwear got in with her laundry and she thought he was cheating. I think the fact she immediately jumped to cheating shows how bad their relationship is. She was waving the underwear around and I recognized them because they had a floral print, but I just let this ridiculous fight go on. My wife came home after about 30 minutes and said they were hers. My wife asked if I didn't realize they were hers and I accidentally laughed. My daughter burst into tears and won't talk to me. Her fiancé said we're fucked and left the house, but my wife thought it was funny. I was accused of sexually harassing a man and I got fired for it. I am terrified of telling you guys this story because of who I'm going to mention. The company that I worked for is very powerful and I think that they would sue me if I said names, but... I'm gonna tell you guys anyway because what happened to me was really unfair. Back in 2018, I had just gotten married and my best friend was working at a company called S3 in New York City. At first, it was a really good company to work for because I was making a lot of money. The job was not incredibly hard. It wasn't really stressful or anything, so I actually really liked it. A little background on S3 was a totally male-driven workplace. Majority of the men were middle-aged white men. My best friend and I were the only young females there, so as you guys can imagine, surrounded by all these older males get stared at a lot 
So my desk was next to someone called Justin, and Justin is the villain in this story. Justin and I sat next to each other and we became pretty friendly, work friends. I was not remotely interested in anything with him because I was married. We joked a lot, we talked about music. I'm a huge movie buff because I'm an actress and he knew that, specifically a movie called American Psycho with Christian Bale, which is one of my favorite movies. The joke was that he would be perfect in that role because he was living in New York, working in finance. My friend and some of the other people that worked there told me that ever since I had been hired, Justin was really friendly and in a good mood all the time he would joke apparently before I got there he wasn't the joking type he wasn't like happy or in a good mood so that tells you a lot right I'm actually so nervous telling you guys this story because I'm mentioning names but Look at those brows so I was very grateful for this job because it paid really well to be honest I just never knew what was coming by the way you guys Justin knew that I was married like we talked about my husband one day I got a message from the guy who hired me at the job and his name was Gabe he was the manager I get a text from Gabe and he's like basically don't come in today we don't need you to come in today I immediately immediately froze and felt sick to my stomach obviously that's weird right for your job to tell you that and i even texted gabe and said what's wrong he said nothing sorry guys i had to turn on the ac because i'm starting to sweat the following day i'm fully expecting to go back into work because i went to work every single day if i'm not mistaken i get an email this time from gabe saying not to come in i immediately text serena and i was like what the heck she said just relax it's okay we don't know what's happening and i was like okay fine later that day she tells me if i could meet her in the park we both had a bad feeling she had a bad feeling I had a bad feeling. And as soon as I see Serena, my best friend, she starts to cry. And then I start to cry. She wasn't alone. She was with Jason, who was somebody who worked at S3 as well. By the way, Jason did the exact same job Serena and I did and got paid a whole lot more than her and I did. A whole lot more. Which doesn't surprise me coming from white middle-aged men thinking that women should earn less than men. I think the first words out of my mouth were, what happened? And that's when she says, I don't know why they're firing you. We both cried, her and Jason comforted me as much as they could. I went home. And when I get home, guess who I text? Because I'm trying to find out information. I'm trying to find out what happened, what went wrong. I text Justin. You're not gonna believe this, I just got fired. And I asked him, have you heard anything? Have you overheard any conversations about why I was fired? And guess what he says, you guys, Jesus Christ. Oh, if you ever need any financial help, let me know, I'm here for you. That's really kind of him. And he said no, that he hadn't heard anything. And I decided to believe him. I got an email from the company sending my severance letter. I emailed back and I think I said, why can I know why? Like, what did I do? They weren't telling me why, they weren't telling me anything. Is that even legal that you get fired and they don't tell you why? It's months go by, I'm on my honeymoon. I didn't have my honeymoon right after I got married. I had it after Serena calls me and she tells me I finally found out what happened and why you were fired. And I remember her even saying like, do you want me to tell you right now or do you want to like wait until you come back? And I was like, no, 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 tell me right now, which is so sweet of her for just even considering my feelings because I was on my honeymoon and she didn't want to, you know, ruin anything for me. She tells me that one of the other girls that was working there overheard a conversation about how Justin had told the owner of the company. Justin told Bob I was offering him blowjobs when no one was around and then I had done it on several occasions. Listen, I know men get harassed in the workplace, they get sexually assaulted, but here are the facts. I have been harassed. I have been sexually assaulted. And that's happened on several occasions. I would never repeat that behavior onto somebody else. I would never, ever do that. If you're watching this and that's happened to you, I'm so sorry. Also, why would I do that in the workplace knowing that I could lose my job? Why would I ever do that? So what could Bob, the owner, do other than fire me? Nothing. He was going to fire me. They fired me. They didn't ask me questions. There was no investigation. You know what made me so upset? The fact that these people, they thought that I was a predator and there was no way for me to rectify that. There was no way for me to be like, hey, that's not true. I couldn't defend myself. I wasn't given the chance to do that. This girl gathered that Justin had very strong feelings for me, that he couldn't deal with it, and that the only thing that he could do was to get me fired so that I could be away from him because he had very strong feelings for me. What happened to me after I got fired was pretty bad. 
I, I would say I was even traumatized. I was so afraid. What could I have done wrong? It was easy to just fire me, throw me away. Like I was nothing, no explanation. It's like someone pulled the floor from under you and you're just left falling and you can't grab onto anything. Learn to recognize red flags and just, I guess, don't be as friendly to men in the workplace. And if you have a story time like mine that you want to share, um, you can send it to me on Instagram here. And I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves.